Good morning, guys. How we doing? Oh, my God. I missed you guys yesterday. My husband, he left his keys in his work truck, so I had to drive a whole hour away to go bring him the spare key so he can come home. And then I was just going to pick him up and then bring him, but then I would have had to take him to work the next day. Because he was going to like meet me halfway. One of his co-workers was going to drive him closer to where we stay at. But I turned around and I told him, no, I'm not going to wake up super early in the morning to go take you to work. So that I didn't have. By the time I got home yesterday, I had no time after I got off of work to make you guys a card. So I'm making it today. So in today's video, I am using fast food. And this is a Cricut-like cartridge. And it got a lot of images on it. And it's all about food. And it's really cute. You can get this on Walmart.com or in certain Walmarts that they sell them at. But I would advise you to uh, get it on Walmart.com because I think they always run a special two Cricut Light cartridges for 50 bucks. So instead of you paying $40 for one, you'll be paying $50 for two. And that's a really good deal, guys. But anyway, I'm using this, paper, uh, this uh, cartridge and I'm using Mango Frost paper stack. Now this paper stack is an oldest stack and is 2010 but oh my god guys you know it is so beautiful you can't I mean the colors are so vibrant and beautiful and a lot of blues and oranges and yellows and pinks and they are just so amazing. I actually like this one too. I mean they are gorgeous so you cannot beat these colors at all and you could color coordinate them they have with their own color paper also or you could just you know match and match you know just use your imagination because sometimes when you think colors don't match you would see an image out there with two different colors and well two or three different colors so this is the paper pattern that I'm using today and I mean this paper pad is gorgeous so 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 gorgeous okay guys so let's get started my card is going to be this blue turquoise uh, cardstock, and it's going to be an A2 size. So, and it's going to be portrait style. So, I just need to score this at four and a quarter because this is five and a half by eight and a half. And then you score at four and a quarter, that makes an A2 size card, okay? I hope you guys had a wonderful day yesterday. These days, they are flying by so quick. And, I mean, I like it when I'm at work, but I don't like it when I'm not at work, you know. We want the days to go slow when we're home with the family, of course, you know. But it'll never work like that. Okay, so I'm going to have my card open up this way. So let's decorate the inside. Now for the inside, I have this orange piece of paper and then this layer paper. And I'm just going to, I'm going to layer them over together just like this. And I'm just going to adhere it down right there. Okay, so let's do that. So guys, I got someone that messaged me and her name is Linda. And she's also on the Cricut Circle board, and I'm, like, so excited. She wants to go to the convention, and, you know, the past couple of years, I've been wanting to go. But I do not like to go any place that is lonely. You don't, ha you don't have nobody to go with, you know? So, I'm, like, really excited for when May comes, because I am definitely, I definitely want to go. I want to experience what... Everybody talks about these uh, conventions, you know, and then on, on top of that, of course, you know, buy new stuff, you know, so it's, it's, it's never so bad not to buy new stuff, you know, if you can, of course, you know, there's sometimes that you can and that's reasonable. That is, you know, that's all right. Things happen. But when you can definitely, I mean, it's amazing when you can buy newer products and I won't buy too much. Well, I'll try to contain myself not to buy too much for the simple fact you can't use a coupon there. Okay, so I got my pattern paper, and what I did 
was use my plaid EK success punch and I just made a little design on the bottom and I'm just gonna adhere it right here to the top and I use this blue cardstock to kind of coordinate with the blue that's in the pattern paper you see because when I first was doing it I was gonna do it on a white cardstock and it didn't look good then I was gonna do it on this color ivory or this uh, off-white color cardstock and it says, you know, it got to be something better. And then when I saw this blue, and I saw the blue in the pattern paper, I says, oh my God, perfect. I'm going to try that. And it came out looking gorgeous. Gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. So, you know, when we think that colors don't match together, they actually do because other people just throw colors together. So, Linda, if you're watching, I cannot wait. We definitely need to make a date to go out to lunch. And um, so I can meet and, you know, get to know each other a little bit more. She messaged me from, she's on the Cricut Craft Room. And, um, you know, everybody around the state, we all want to get together with crafty people. And it's really hard because a lot of people are out of state. So... You tend not to have too many friends. And then the friends that live close to you, they don't live close to you, you know. And it's always good to make a craft night or, you know, just hang out. Do, you know, be together with a lot of people that love to do what you do. So when she messaged me, I had, like, totally forgot about Linda. She lives, like, about 20 minutes away from me, give or take. And I'm like, can't wait. So, Linda, if you're watching, I left you my number, sweetheart. Give me a call so we can make plans to go out to eat. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere this down. I already put the tape on the back. And I'm just going to try to center it. Right there looks really good. I hope. It kind of looks a little bit crooked. Okay. Okay. Now, for the stamp on the inside, I am using, of course, you know, I love my Scrappy Mom stamps. Out of all the stamps I've tried, Scrappy Mom stamps, if you guys never tried them, they are amazing. They stamp perfectly. They're really bold and beautiful and gorgeous. Okay, so the stamp that I'm using today is Sweet On You, and I'm going to stamp it right here, and I'm going to use my stays on so I can actually get a really good, Perfect. Oh my god, that looks so vibrant and dark. I mean, there's times that my stays on don't, uh, it could be the quality of the paper that I'm using. I'm not so sure, but sometimes it just don't stamp completely. So look at how beautiful that looks, guys. That looks so beautiful and the colors coordinate perfectly. You know, if you guys don't know how to color coordinate, okay, what I can suggest you to do is take out your pattern papers and look at the colors that the pattern papers have. Because sometimes the colors that we think that will not match, a pattern paper has that color like this orange, the red, the yellow, and the, the blue. You, I would not have thought that I can actually put those four colors together, you know. I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. But they're gorgeous. Okay, so let's start doing the outside, guys. Okay, now I got the orange that I'm using, and I have the the pattern paper. Now, I did the same with the inside. What I did was just notch the two sides over here, so it's like straight and a curve, straight and a curve. Okay, guys? So I'm going to do the same with this one. I already started. I did this one already, so now I'm just going to do this one. 
And it's really quick and easy, guys. You know, a little notch here, a little notch there. You're good to go. Okay, so let me adhere these together. Guys, I just wanted to know, I just wanted to let you know, I received three more cards yesterday. And, um... Oh my God, guys. I can't wait. I'm not even going to do a video on them. I'm What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait till I get all of them. And I will do a video showing all of them. And guys, you rock. You know, I did this challenge to thank Eva for what she had did. And, you know, I appreciate everything. And, um, I just got to say, uh, Two of you guys made me a card, and I'm like, no, actually three of you guys. And it is so heartfelt. I mean, I nearly almost started crying because they are so beautiful. You say that my cards are beautiful. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. Okay, so there goes my pen and paper. Now, you see how the blue coordinates with the blue that's in here? Now, this is a darker blue. And this is a lighter blue, but look at how beautiful it coordinates. I mean, you can't even tell at all. So, after the 25th and after my giveaway is over, I'm going to I'm going to do a video and I'm going to show you everyone's card that they made because a lot of people did not do video responses or videos on their cards and I opened up this challenge because there are a lot of my subscribers that don't do videos you know they are on YouTube and what they do is go on YouTube for inspiration and you know and they just uh, uh, comment on everybody's cards and stuff like that or anything that they do so you know I wanted to keep it open for everybody you know even international so which is amazing you know because a lot of people it's kind of hard to Get the Canadians to join because of the international price of shipping, which is ridiculous sometimes. But, you know, with everything you do, hmm, there's always, always a price. Okay, guys. So, there goes my pad and paper. Now, for my image, I end up using the Fast Foods cartridge. And I end up using the image, which is the orange juice jug. Okay, so here it goes. I cut this out out of glitter paper. And what I ended up doing was, let me see if I can find it really quick. Because it was just around here. And now that I'm looking for it, I don't see it. Okay, just give me a second. It's around here. Oh, guys, I just want to say I got my new cartridge in. It's a Cricut Circle cartridge, and um, they gave it to us for Christmas time for free. It's called Animal Antics, and oh, my God, I'm loving it. I mean, you have it. We have it, you know, since December on the Cricut Craft Room, but I, I like the feel. Of the cartridge okay here it goes I definitely definitely like the feel of the cartridge now there goes my image and what I did I stamped the orange and I end up using my lipstick Copic marker R29 and I lipstick herself in and I use cardstock and I use some glitter to kind of do the outside of the leaf and also the straw and the peachy king stamp set that I end up using it is called Cheerios faces and I use this one right here the one inch one and I thought she came out adorable I could have actually used a different color cardstock, but I thought this would be just perfect for this because I wanted also to coordinate with this color paper that I got going on also. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere this right here. But before I do that, I want to pop it up. Of course, you have to pop up the images. There's nothing better. And as you can see, I did a boo-boo, but since the 
first layer was kind of weak. I ended up cutting out another one to kind of make it thicker. But nobody will know that, guys. Only you, the ones that are watching. I can't believe yesterday, was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday was the first day of spring. And it was cold. We got a cold front, guys. Oh, my God. I know up north you guys are freezing. I am so glad I'm in Florida because I will not be able to tolerate that cold. I will be broke down, guys, okay? And when I see broke down, I'm talking about broke down. Won't be able to move or anything. And that all happened because in 2007, I had a car accident. This, uh, I was on my way to work. And this guy was coming out of his complex, and he was drunk. And he T-boned me so hard, and then he got the nerve to say he didn't see me. And he was supposed to stop. Once you stop at the stop sign, then you go across one street driveway, then there's a median in the middle. You're supposed to stop right there, and then look, and then go through the other one. Well, I was already on, I was already there when he came and hit me. And he hit me right he T-boned me. And let me tell you something. Since then, the weather does not love me. I have the worst, worst pain in my neck, my back, and I know when the weather's changing. I could definitely let you know that uh, we're going to have rain or cold front tomorrow, and it's all because I can barely move. Okay, guys. Well, there goes my image. Now... I'm using another Scrappy Mom stamp set, and the stamp set that I'm using today, the first one that I use is from Mom's Diner, and the second one that I'm using, it is called Sunkissed, and the stamp that I'm using is Orange Juice Sweet. Instead of Orange Juice, it's Orange Juice. You orange, you sweet. And I thought this was like perfect for this card right here, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, I'm not even done yet because I need to add something to that orange container. So, I have my bling box. Oops. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to add some Zots to my bling so it can stay on my card. This is the fastest way I found to hold this bling. And this is from the bling mesh that I ended up buying a while back. It's right here. So I bought all of the colors and I bought three feet of them. And I ended up using this color right here. This turquoise color. Okay, so what I want to do with this, I want to make a little trim. If I can, guys, okay. And I want to like add it right in the middle. Of the orange juice. Okay. Then I have another piece. And I want to add it to the other side. So it looks like it's wrapping around it. So it's going to go like in an angle, just like that. So it looks like it's one piece instead of two pieces. Oh, that looks good. 
that really does look good. I didn't think it was going to come out right, but it looks really good, guys. Okay, now, for my sentiment, like I was saying, I'm going to use orange juice, sweet. And I end up cutting out a piece of the same glitter paper that I used for the orange. And this blue, this blue uh, cardstock. And what I did, I used my paper punch, my corner punch, and I'm going to adhere both of these together. And since this is glitter, I need to use... I need to use some quick dry. And as you can see, I stamped on both sides because one side, if you can see, it was blurry. It like stamped twice. I kind of moved it by accident. I could still use that piece, but I like the other side better. It's more clearer. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere this together with this one. Okay, that looks really good. I'm just trying to take some of the excess glue that's on there. Sometimes you put some glue on and you think it's not enough or you put enough on. But when you go to squeeze it, it squeezes out. Which, you know, thank God it, it dries clear, you know. Okay, now with that... I have another piece of bling that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to put it underneath the sentiment. And then I'm just going to adhere this together and we are going to be done. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I just want to fill it where it says you, you sweet. Aren't you sweet? Orange juice instead of, it's supposed to say orange juice, but you know, Scrappy Mom stamps have a, a mind that is amazing. And there's a lot of stamp makers out there that do, you know, a lot of stamps that are so cutesy. So instead of orange juice, it's orange, orange, you sweet. I keep on getting tongue tied with that, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this right there. And I'm trying to see, should I pop it up? Or should I would have put it down here? Let me see if I could lift this up. I think for some reason it looks better down here. I could be wrong too. Okay, let me see. Let me put it back down and put it up here. You know, I'm going to leave it the way I had it. I tend to change my mind a lot. Especially, guys, it's always good sometimes to change, you know. Because you don't know how it actually looks. And I'm just going to adhere this flat down since I have my image popped up. Does that look like it's in the middle? Yes. And you see how the bling kind of 
pops it out also which is amazing okay and there's one last thing I want to do really quick I just want to put my name on the back Created by Gloria Dasher. Okay. That looks wonderful. So, guys, there goes my card today. Definitely thank you for waiting and watching my videos. I appreciate it all. Definitely. I look at the comments. Sometimes I can't answer right away because I'm busy and a lot of times I'm at work. And you know, if um, my boss sees me on the phone, she'll take my phone away. And then they'll have a ban on all phones and I don't want nobody to be mad with me. Definitely nobody to be mad with me, okay guys? So there you go guys. Thank you so much for passing by, watching my videos and commenting, rating and subscribing. I appreciate each and everything that you do, guys. And you guys, I just want to let you know you have four more days until the giveaway is over. So, if you made a card and didn't let me know, definitely let me know when, when you mailed it so I can count you in and just wait on for the card. Because I don't want to miss nobody, okay, guys? Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.